Hi guys, so today's video is going to be a sketchbook tour. It's always my most requested video and for some reason you always want to see my sketchbooks and I finally finished this one which I've had since September until May. I started this in 2019 and it's quite big but it's kind of a casual sketchbook that is mostly just messy sketches so don't expect amazing artwork from this. Uh, and I just grab it whenever I felt like drawing something and I just need to let it out. So, yeah, let's begin. As you can tell, I tried to make the front cover a bit more pretty by sticking this glittery paper on top. But you can see what it used to look like, which is just really ugly. And I don't like how this looks at all, but I don't really care. <laughs> because people are going to be looking at the inside anyway, so it doesn't really matter, but... Yeah, this isn't my best, this isn't my prettiest cover that I've ever made. This is the front page. Ignore this, I don't, I don't even know. But I started with a lot of coloured pencil drawings because every time I get a new sketchbook, I kind of tell myself that I'm going to make this one perfect and pretty all the way through and never make it messy. But as you can see later on, that, that changes. First, I really tried to do really detailed colourful drawings this is an artist that I took inspiration from and I just recreated her flower drawings because I liked how they looked and then some more pencil sketches this sketchbook is mostly in pencil it's just the easiest thing for me to use and then I did some portraits recently I've been adding a lot of coloured backgrounds just to make pencil sketches a bit less boring then I start getting pages like this, which aren't interesting at all. It's just some weird... I even make notes in the sketchbook, so just ignore how not aesthetically pleasing this looks, because I know, trust me, I know. But that's kind of what sketchbooks are for, just to kind of let out whatever. It's, again, with these scribbles, I think I was just testing which pens have run out and which haven't, but then... If I ever draw anything on separate pieces of paper, I just stick them on top of the ugly parts so that they look a bit better. So I just drew some cute birds and again, really rough, like not even for out drawings. Again, I'm not very proud of this. I don't know why I coloured it this bad and this is just, this is just the best piece in this sketchbook to be honest. <laughs> no, but um, yeah, it's... It's a lot of sticking in stuff to cover up stuff in this. This page again is very ugly. I don't really, I don't even want to look at it. French notes from when I still went to school. And yeah, just really messy sketches that I'm not really proud of. These are a bit more put together. I don't know why this one's upside down. I quite like this one. Um, I've been trying to get better at drawing fabric and clothes because I really struggle with that. So that's kind of like a practice. And then some facial expressions. Again, portraits, which are like my favorite thing to draw. They're all very messy and rushed. And then I tried to draw cartoon versions of people, which I quite like how these look. Not sure about this one though, it's a bit scary. Yeah, very odd. I'm not really sure how I even come up with this. Just more pencil drawings until I got really lazy with the background. Very strange drawings that again I'm not really proud of even though I think this is really cute. I wanted to make this sketchbook a bit more colourful so that's why I did I don't know these colour inspired people I don't know. Then I drew my friend Reese. whatever this is again just really just stuff stuck over other things i really struggle with drawing faces at different angles which is something that i need to work on i really like this look looks very cartoony more portraits and people ask me where i get reference pictures for these from i use pinterest and i just search up portrait photography and then I just choose a picture that I like and I draw it like this you can find really cool poses and stuff and it's easier than it's way easier and it's actually better than drawing from your own head and imagination these are cutouts from a tiny sketchbook that I had from 2018 so 
these are quite old but i still like how they look so i included them this is just ugly i tried to do a self portrait but i obviously don't look like that yeah this again is quite an old one i, dr I have different styles so if i'm not really in the mood to draw my things kind of come out really rushed and they don't look good but also like when i really put effort in i go with like shading and details and everything then i played around with watercolor and i made it really messy and watery but i quite like how it looks and this as well it's from may last year from that tiny sketchbook that i had i didn't even realize that was on the inside i think that's just some animals i went to italy and there was a comic book that i saw in my hotel room and i just um redrew one of the illustrations from it and this is like a little sketch of a project that I was meant to do for my art at school but it never I never came around to it because coronavirus happened so I never finished it but it was about different decades and I was going to do fashion throughout decades really odd watercolor stuff like this literally looks like a five-year-old did it but I just kind of use the sketchbook to do whatever I want yeah these are quite old but I still draw in the same style some eyes which are literally like my favorite thing to draw portraits and eyes are my favorite thing to draw any day these are just really messy this is just what i do when i'm bored i'm not sure about this it was a bit of an experiment on like different backgrounds this is just messy and not even worth showing i really like this one it's very cutesy and it's done in pencil most of these are in pencil as you can tell yeah just really weird stuff this one i took inspiration from an art book that i have yeah just really messy um things that i do when i'm bored but i think they're quite worth showing as well because not every artist always draws amazing things not everything always looks refined like you sometimes need an outlet like this to just draw whatever you want I like these a lot as well. I'm gonna go over these really messy, ugly pages really fast because I feel like they're not worth showing, but they're still worth, like, I think people need to see that. Not everything always looks good because that's part of the process. Then I tried to draw hands because again, I needed some more practice on that. And you can use your own hand when you're drawing, obviously, which makes it easy because you're drawing with one hand and you can use the other. I drew this from a dream I had, which is kind of creepy. And this pencil drawing, which I really like. Uh, it's meant to be a mirror, but it kind of looks like two different people. But I'm, I like this part and the leg and the fabric again. It's really hard for me to draw, but I'm getting the hang of it. Colourful markers. Some more pencil stuff. Outfits. <laughs> Keeping track of Scrabble. Again, like really... I just use this as like a notebook slash sketchbook. I make these cute doodles all around it, which I think are worth keeping, so I just keep them in. Dresses. Then it was Easter. Again, literally just I used it as a notebook. Then I used ballpoint pens to draw with, and like there was a highlighter bit on it which looks cool i saw this design of a t-shirt and i copied it with different texts like you just draw a heart and then you kind of squish letters and stuff. eyes because i just like drawing eyes in different colors not very good sketches i feel like everything looks the same they're all kind of weird cartoony portraits and eyes on like every page i like this one some more font stuff and this ballpoint pen stuff I like drawing dresses um some portraits i tried to do a self portrait but that i'm really bad with that because they never end up looking like me notes really i draw really big eyes on people i'm not sure why and some more ballpoint pen stuff I really like this page. I 
especially and I just like the colours that I use and how they match the pen here I think I stuck a page together but these are kind of like effortless not meant to be seen but I'm showing them anyway then I tried to draw myself as a cartoon which again that looks nothing like me but I just thought it was fun and I wanted to use pens which as you can tell are running out because I've had them for years now I need some more supplies oh and that's the last page so I ripped out a couple but I don't I don't know where they are um, I actually tried not to rip out loads from this one because I have a bad habit of doing that if I don't like how something looks but this time I kind of included everything pretty much and if I really didn't like it I just covered it up last page again I use my reference pictures from Pinterest because that's where I find like the most um, unusual poses or expressions or I say that literally as all of these look the same but I like it's just the easiest way to find stuff so yeah that's it that's my sketchbook I need to get a new one now since this one's finished okay so that was a sketchbook but I've also got a couple pieces which I've done separately over quarantine so I'm going to show those now there isn't a lot but I just I'm going to show all of them I'll try to remember which one I've done first and I think it was this one, which is the biggest one. Did it on a uh, cardboard <laughs> and then I stuck newspaper on it. It's mixed media um, oil painting that I did. It's really messy, but it was the first time that I've used oil paints in a while. I like this and it's been in my room for, well, since I've done it. The next thing is this watercolour painting, which I did on paper. I wish I used watercolour paper, I'm not sure why I didn't. This is what I did and I'm really proud of it because, again, I really struggle with painting and drawing fabrics, especially like I did here. This is kind of messy, but I like how these look and I think it looks quite realistic for painting. But the grass kind of ruins it for me because, again, it's very detailed and you can't it's really hard to paint it so this is a bit patchy but i i enjoy this background bit the most i just randomly found this which i don't know why i did it on a separate piece of paper but these are just some more sketches i quite like this one i should probably color that and cut it out on its own then i did this one which again i'm not sure why i use such bad paper it's because i always start off with drawings and then i never um plan on painting it but sometimes it just happens and this is acrylic paint i think cute little cow very patchy and colorful but that, that's kind of the effect that i was going for got this um painting of kali uchis and i paint these on backs of picture frames i really like using them and they're just really easy to paint on i think and i've got two more that i've done like this and I kind of messed up on the eyes so I covered it's meant to be fish but it kind of looks like space I don't know what I did with this but I like how it turned out in the end anyway this one's just on cardboard though I messed it up <laughs> I can't draw hands or paint hands very well and the nose is it just it just came out wrong but I kept it anyway and I was gonna cut it yeah I'm I've been painting a lot more during quarantine then I've got this one which is my absolute favorite probably one of my favorite art pieces that I've ever done and again it's on that picture frame backing and I did this with colored pencils and it's a portrait of Tyler the creator and I love how this turned out again with like drawing different textures and fabrics I really struggle with it but it came out good in this and I'm proud of the hand as well because hands are so hard to draw the last thing that I'm gonna show is this painting that I've done with acrylic paints of this girl drowning. <laughs> it kind of looks like smoke because it was really hard to get that effect. And I'm proud of painting it like this because I'm not too good at painting. But somehow I managed to pull this off. So that's it for this video. Please make sure to like, subscribe, comment and do anything you want. And I'll see you in my next video.